Stippling is a great way to add some artistic value to your quilt. I'm gonna start by setting my machine up for quilting. For this particular machine, I disengaged my IDT on my FAF 2144, and I'm gonna loosen up the screw in the back, and this foot just slides right onto the machine, and then you tighten the screw back down, so it's super, super easy. Your machine may require you to take the ankle off, um, and put a new foot on. However you need to um, put your free motion or your stippling foot on, that's what you wanna do. And I also have a little reminder on my machine to drop your feed teeth. When you're stippling, you are in control of the stitch length and the stitch width of your piece, so these are not going to move at all. That's why you lower them or disengage them. Stippling, I have my batting and my fabric here, is really just a free form um, wandering on your fabric. So I always start by sewing a few stitches right in place, raise my foot, make sure that my thread is out of the way, and then you're going to use a few stitches to lock. So you rock back and forth just slightly with your hands. And if this is your first time stippling or doing any free motion technique, make sure that you go slowly so if you have speed control on your machine, turn it way down so that you can grab control of your fabric. And you're going to start by making a pattern. And the thing that you want to try and do when you're stippling is never have your lines touch. They can make any sort of shape or design. You can also do a zigzag type of stippling stitch, which is very um, rough and jagged. This has a very smooth edge, but you can do something more jagged again. Just make sure your lines don't touch. And that is stippling.